Diamond D Sports presents from the National Hot Rod Association Championship Drag Racing. The Silver Anniversary Winter National. Speeds in excess of 260 miles an hour. Covering the quarter mile in less than six seconds. Drag Racing from the NHR. It all comes down to this for the Gear Jammers Truck Series as the series came to the Phoenix International Raceway for the season finale. And with the drop race set to come into effect at the end of this one, the question was still in the air who the champion was going to be. And this race would turn out to be one of the most destructive of the entire Gear Jammers Truck Series season. After a couple of quick yells, we go to restart on the first team with Brett Bancari leading David Shutt, Chris Scala, Jordan Malish, and Jason Garrett. As the field was hoping to get an actual long green flag run in as the series was been accustomed to the entire season with the caution clock and limited sets of tires. But unfortunately that would not be the case in run number 15. Brett Rogers on the inside of Dave Rowe and Richard Swindon went free wide. He spins, gets hit by Jimmy Christensen, James Wells and Steve Dixon had nowhere to go. They would both collide and now make the fourth caution of the race come out. Lap 22 after the restart, David Shutt got by Jason Garrett for the number 2 spot. He was then getting the inside of Pankari who slid up high. He would use the dog leg to his advantage and he would take over the lead and that would actually become the first lead change of the race. And then on that same lap near the back of the field, Trent Zitterman who was running the back of the pack Clip the apron on the exit that turned two. He would spin harmlessly to the inside. He would not hit anything, but the fourth caution of the race would come out. And then later, lap 45 of the restart, Chris Scott was battling Jonathan Shipman and Sean Hughes for a top five position, but he would get loose on the exit in you know, turn four, and he would hit the inside wall. Luckily, not as much damage as he thought he was going to have, but that would be the fifth caution of the race. And then the reset on number 51, Jason Garrett and Sean Hughes would stay out when everyone else would come in and take tires and or fuel. And he and Sean Hughes would try to break away from the field and hope to get again get another long green flag run in. But unfortunately that would not be the case on the lap 52. David Shaw getting the inside of Hughes on the exit of turn 2 and he would get the number 2 spot. And then in one fell swoop would then get the inside Jason Garrett in turns 3 and 4 and he would take over the race lead and take the lead for the second time in the race. After a caution on lap 59 again for Chris Scala, we then would fast forward all the way to lap number 82. As Brett Bancari was the only one who pitted under that particular caution for tires and he would actually reel in David Shutt and he would set his sights to potentially taking the lead right back. But as these two are ready to start another battle for the lead, there would be two trucks that would spin out of turn four. Jonathan Shippen would spin first on the inside. He would, would kiss the inside wall. Then behind him, Jimmy Christian spins off of turn four and brush the inside wall. That would cause another yellow. Then that's when things started getting really bad. Lap 89, Dave Rogue is loosened. Exit at turn two. He spins, collects gear, and also Sean Hughes. Then lap 95, Jordan Petrick gets into Andy Moore. He hits the wall. Then Petrick overclocks and clobbers the wall. And that also took out the point leader, John Huntington, as well. Then lap 100, James Wells and Simmons collide. Sean Hughes goes for a violent crash in the back streamer that looked to maybe end his championship hopes. And then lap 105, Brent Rogers and John Deuce both spin out of turn four. Rogers hits the wall and Deuce in the inside and also collects Jamie Christensen. And then lap 111, Dave Rowe punts Nicholas Lonnie Church and turns three and four, and that would cost yet another caution. And then we got into a little bit of green flag racing. Lap 121, Chris Scala had the lead, but Jonathan Shippen would drive it in deep in turn one. They both collide, and Shippen would take over the race lead. But then lap 125, disaster was strike. As Shippen gets loose on the exit. Turn two right in front of Pankari in the 19. Shipman goes for a huge crash. 
He would flick down the back straight away. Pankari was also involved and also the five of uh, Chris Scala as well. And then lap later on, lap 138, another green flag run. Trent Zimmerman again gets loose in the exit turn. Four, he would harmlessly spin to the inside. And then finally, lap 146, Jimmy Christian spins once again the exit of three and four. Pankari comes flying. He with nowhere to go. He gets hit by Christensen and goes into the outside wall. Now it proves to be the 15th and final caution of the race. As David Richardson, who led the big over 109 laps, would get his second straight win to close out the Gear Jammers Truck Series season. Final results after all of that mayhem. David Shutt was the winner. Jordan Mount for second. Richard Street was third. Chris Scala fourth. John Huntington fifth. Andy Moore sixth. Joe Peter was seventh. Reverend Carney was eighth. Jason Gary was ninth. And Dave Rowe was tenth. The point stands if the drop win did not be counted. Huntington would have won the championship over Pankari by 11. Sean Hughes, 23. Joe Petrick, Jordan Mallard, Nick Lonnie Church, Brent Rogers, Andy Moore, Chris Scala, and Jimmy Christian would have been the top 10. But those are not the official points because it does not count the drop. With the drop, your final point stands would have Sean Hughes winning the championship by 5 points over John Huntington. Brent Pankari gets 3rd. Joe Petrick, 4th. Jordan Mallard, 5th. Nick Lonnie Church, 6th. Any more Brent Rogers, Chris Scala, and Jimmy Christian round out the final top 10 in the championship standings.